Hello, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you a family budget tracker that you can use to start analyzing your income and your expenses and to understand um, are you on your budget or not. So this uh, file has a few sheets as always. There's the dashboard sheet where you actually see the results. There's the slicers on top, the timelines and some nice charts to show you the results. There's the pivots where the uh, data for the charts exist, the database that builds the pivot tables, the expense sheet where you need to key in the information, and same for income. So let's start at the end with the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you can select a certain period, okay, like Q2 2022, and you can see the expenses, the income, and the balance, positive or negative. And also on the year to date, you see this nice pie chart that shows you basically which which part is bigger and, and so what is the balance, the year to date. Um, on the bottom part of the, of, the, of the sheet of the dashboard are two pie charts showing you the expense split and income split based on categories. This is usually helpful for people to understand what are they spending the most on and uh, to attack that part. So here in this example, it's on health, um, and the most income is coming, obviously, from work. Okay, uh, so this is the dashboard itself. On the income sheet is where you key in your income. Um, so you just have to income, let's say, paycheck, paycheck number three. Uh, category work fixed and then you just have to key in what the income is whatever it is you don't have to key in for all the months that's all you need to do you can also add or change the months here so this starts from January through December but you can add a month let's for example add um, January 2013 <laughs> And I'll add here just one so you see it. And uh, okay, expenses. Similarly, there's a lot of you know different expenses that I entered here. You can use that as a reference. You can add your own. But um, again, if we want to, just so you see that right now you don't have 2013 here on the options. But let's add. Um, also the expense for 2013. So here we had 800. Let's add, I don't know, tuition of 500 and 300 here for the books and another 200 here. Um, once you click on the button over here, the update dashboard, there's a small VBA code here that you click on it. And the, both of these tables get copied over here and there are also three formulas that are copied down and the pivots are all updated. So let me press that button. It's fairly quick. Okay. And then you see I have also the option to choose 2000. I'm going to go ahead and select 2023. And now I only see 2023. Okay, and you see the 800, 1,000, and 200 of the balance. So this is a very simple uh, file, but this can be really helpful for you. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, see you next time.